Welcome, this is Zangler, the Tesla Semi Advocate, and um, this is some additional footage from January 11th, 2025, and I wanted to create a separate video to do a site overview and also focus in on the Tesla Semi Tractor at the beginning. But the most important thing I wanted to do is to talk about the electrical supply for Giga, for Giga Semi. And later on in the video, we'll take a look at both the power line, overhead power line coming in, and the nearby electrical substation, which also has mega packs. Um, and these, I think, are OG mega packs from when the original Giga Nevada went in and we'll get a good look at those. The big question is when we get to it is we'll talk about whether or not the overhead power lines are enough, look like they can provide enough power or is there additional underground power. This is an up close and personal look at the semi tractor that is positioned to look over and possibly inspire the workers. A 150 of these substantial Tesla EVs are going to be produced a day sometime in 2026. A 150 of these rolling out of this factory on average, which is amazing. In a little bit, you can see the footings. There's, I like this perspective of the um, stamping building work, foundation work that is being done. And right there, are you can see the rebar um, in place for the uh, actual footings for this far eastern stamping pit. And it's just a really good perspective. That's not necessarily the focus of today's video, but you do get a really good look at those, um, at the work on this Eastern, uh, stamping pit. The crane is being used to, um, put forms in place. And here's a wide angle view of the, cr the one crane that has been used. I mean, they, they did also have, they also have a crane on site for um, putting the roofing materials on the roof. But um, as I've mentioned before, that may be the responsibility of the um, roofing supply company to deliver the roofing materials, the insulation and the waterproof membrane to the roof of the building. It shows up when the, when the supplies show up and then it goes away. That's a warehouse on wheels. And in the background is another warehouse on wheels. And I'm wondering if those dirt piles that we see them working on are going to be a, an additional warehouse on wheels for the semi factory. Possibly that or a series of mega chargers to charge the 150 semis that come out of this. They, um, the, actually the first charge is usually, I believe, pretty confident is a slower charge at the uh, pilot production line. Once they come out the end of the line, they are hooked up to a slower charger for that initial charge. Here we're going to fly over and take a look at two things. One is the electrical overhead electrical lines coming in. And uh, maybe viewers will know more than me if that, but that does not seem to be enough power to supply this entire Giga factory, the Giga Semi factory. And the other thing we get to look at is the um, second Milan Avenue entrance. And in a, after this section of footage, you can see the plan for, um, for the entry area. And the guard gate won't be right at the entrance, but it'll be more up in the middle of the, of the picture here. And you'll see that coming up soon. 
So here is the only overhead power lines coming into this area of the building. And you can see the, um, the power goes down a conduit pipe into the ground. And at the bottom left, I don't know if that's electrical um, box right there um, or, or Wi-Fi. I think it is electrical, but there is one, a Wi-Fi uh, maintenance box nearby also. And I will refer back to my old um, videos as the site was being prepared and the cuts were made to the uh, Milan Avenue infrastructure that's in the ground here on the right side of Milan and try to see if there's a, um, a cut for power. Here's that site plan for the guard area, and here's a visual of that guard area. And now let's take a quick flight over to the substation. This substation is um, a few hundred yards north east of the um, Tesla property line, the far northeast Tesla, pro Tesla property line where that new guard um, shack and entrances. You can see the um, mega packs, and I don't know if anyone recognizes that, but I'm nearly certain these are the original mega packs that were put in, you know, eight years ago when Giga Nevada was constructed. Let me know what you think, and uh, thank you for joining. Uh, hopefully we can figure out if there's more electrical. And this is just a nice uh, return trip with the uh, Giga Semi in the background.